तुम्हारे पापा तुम्हारी मम्मी तुम्हारी दीदी और तुम मम्मी की जोड़ी कहाँ है वो तो पीछे है ना नजर कैसे आएगी हाँ नजर तो नहीं आती पर तुम कहाँ हो इसमें तो नहीं हूँ बना दो क्या If you are looking for a film that makes you fondly remember childhood, grapple with complicated adult issues, all the while coming to realize the mysterious melancholy of life, 1983's Masoom is the right film for you. Adapted from Eric Segal's popular book Man, Woman, and Child, this directorial debut by renowned actor Shekhar Kapoor is one of Bollywood's most poignant films. It makes you laugh with the innocence of children and cry with the tragic fate of adults. With a star cast that not only showcased actors like Nasiruddin Shah and Shabana Azmi in their primes, but also a range of future legends like Satish Kaushik, Supriya Pathak, and Urmila Matondkar, Masoom gives us nothing short of an emotional powerhouse, featuring the greatest challenge ever posed to a married couple, picking apart their idealism with its vivid, overt brushstrokes. Masoom is perhaps the greatest example of Bollywood's unrelenting passion to make music hit a film's perfect chords. Tujhse naaraz nahi zindagi manages to feature itself in two different versions at different points in the film, elevating the philosophical texture of the story. While Lakdi ki Kaathi remains a cult favorite that triggers nostalgia for an entire generation, but do nena aur ek kahani leaves a magical impact of its own. provoking the colorful imaginations of rahul's past alongside the celebratory huzur is qadar that sets up the idea of a perfect upper class couple ye main hu aur mere papa aap ke papa chashma pehante hain The dialogue of Shekhar Kapoor's Masoom is surprisingly mundane and simple as pointed out by film critic Raja Sen. Thanks to this, the film stands the test of time because it allows other elements like music and mood to take over the atmosphere. This also makes the film stand out because it came from the times of long dramatic and flashy dialogue by the likes of Gulzar, whose comedy we have reviewed in our retro revisit to Angoor. Lekin पति तो उसके जैसा ही चाहिए कोई कोहिनूर भी लाके देना तो सूरी साहब जैसा पति नहीं चाहिए The pairing of Shabana Azmi and Nasiruddin Shah in Masoom is a match made for Bollywood heaven because they effortlessly strike a carefree connection within the first few scenes making us believe they are married for at least a decade but when their trust is broken and they fall out of their ideals both characters generate a tension that easily sweeps us all away Even the sibling chemistry between the kids is full of light and innocent moments which later turns into bittersweet irony during tumultuous times. The idea that Masoom has no villain except for man's strange desire for superstitious darkness is a part of what makes Masoom such a mysterious and might I say haunting film. to have a childhood place at the hands of a thing as fragile as the fate of an unknown father is at the core of the story but it is also at odds with a woman who finds her own mind as helpless as the child in the face of brutal infidelity that her husband can't even explain mujhe kam nahi chalani hai akele to main nahi chala sakta hu bolo Masoom is one of the few films we will ever review that seems to be free from any drawbacks. It raises multiple moral dilemmas that it refuses to solve, respecting the morality of its audiences and taking life as a mystery, for which the film, just like the book, might face scrutiny from certain audiences. Therefore, Shekhar Kapoor's directorial debut establishes itself as one of Bollywood's most sensitive films. While this story is about a family who struggles to collectively welcome Rahul to their home, Retrofusion Boutique Homestays pledges to give its guests the best Bollywood welcome they could get in Lonavla in the form of retro villa. So we invite you to a cozy retreat to Maharashtra's holiday capital. Thank you for revisiting Masoom with us and we hope that your Bollywood craze never dies.